Be ready in season, out of season. Be ready. Do not sleep. Do not slumber. You understand what I mean by this. Keep what I have said to you about the hour in which you live at the foremost part of your mind. Do not put it to the back of your mind. Bring it to the forefront daily. Pray, pray that you will be ready. Pray that your loved ones waken and ready themselves. The days ahead will test all to the very limit of their endurance. When they reach their limit, they will cry out to me or they will reject me. This is the reason for the test. This is the reason for the tribulation. I want none to perish, but all must choose. It is time for those who dwell in Babylon to wrap up their affairs. If they have money in the bank, they should withdraw it. They will be able to conduct business with whatever cash they have for a limited time. I have told some to leave. I have even told them where they must go, but they have not left. This is like the final blast of the train whistle when the train is leaving the station. If they do not get on this train, another will not be sent for them. They will suffer greatly beyond what they can endure, and they will die there in that place before the appointed time. I have appointed some to remain in Babylon. They know what they must do. They know who they are there for. When they finish their assignments, I will remove them with my mighty hand. There are many of my own people, beloved of me, who are living in great deception. They believe that I will restore America and make her great again. This is my final warning to these ones. I love you, but you have been deceived. America will not be great. On the contrary, she will fall. It will be a great fall. You can read about this fall in Revelation chapter 18. America is that Babylon of which I speak. Many messengers have been sent to you to warn you that you might awaken from this deception, but you have not heeded these messages and you have not awakened. This is my last call to you, my beloved. Flee Babylon, lest you partake of her plagues.